Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool. And this little gem is the DeWalt DCF680. It is a cordless screwdriver with gyroscopic technology. Runs on this eight volt battery. This is a rechargeable lithium ion battery. And it actually comes with two of them in the kit, which I got. Uh, it is a very unique tool that actually has a a feature that I think might be well adapted to other tools, but I'm not sure exactly what yet. And let me show you how this thing works. So it looks like a kind of a traditional cordless screwdriver. I mean, even all the way back to the kind of the Craftsman or Black & Decker days with the docking station and the about two and a half minutes worth of battery life. Um, it uses a combination grip. So you can have a pistol grip or a straight shaft. There is another version that does not have that for a few bucks less. To me, I think it's worth it, um, and primarily because as I use um, other screwdrivers that have that feature, when you really want to switch over to some sort of a kind of a pistol grip, which gives, gives you a little bit of different hold, sometimes a little more clearance, to me it's worth it. But anyway, let's take a look at this thing. So the bizarre part about this is, if you watch this, it's running right now. I just turned it on, just shut it off. You can see it does have the LED lights. But as you can see, um, I'll go ahead and crack that down just for a moment for, for show, but it's on. As I rotate this thing, it begins to turn. And then as I rotate it the other way, it turns. You see that? So. No matter what position it's in, that is the neutral position when you pull the trigger. As you start to rotate it, it's proportional. The closest thing I can come to an analogy is maybe like a pedal-assisted e-bike, where the more you do, the more you get with this thing. And it's actually pretty slick to use because you can rotate it back and forth to really control things at a high level. Now I'm sure there are features and specifications I'll miss, so I'll revisit it. Uh, I wanted to go over what I really think is pretty cool about this and why I think finally a cordless screwdriver, you know, may have surpassed this Surge, which was, you know, my my favorite screwdriver because now this just is downright primitive compared to the capabilities of um, of this. And even the 12 volt the M12 volt surge. I mean, that just the precision. I was thrilled with this thing, but this is on a whole nother level. So first of all, I have uh, the ability to set basically some Torx settings or some controllable settings. On one, actually, and all the way up to nine, I'll show you, I can actually hold this. This is what happens when you use it. As soon as I turn it, Notice it's not turning, so it's like a torque setting. I don't know if they're calibrated, the, inst the instructions didn't say. I can hold it up to nine easily. Well, not easily always, but if I can grab that, try that again. Eh, it's not working right now. And never mind. But anyway, um, I was able to hold it at a uh, at that setting earlier. But then there's three. Maybe I crank up to it. Can hold that. There's seven, eight. I'm gonna end up chewing up my fingers. Yeah, I won't do it. But anyway, I was able to hold it up to 9. 10 I couldn't. It goes up to 15 and then to the max. Let's take a look at what this thing does, which is pretty cool. So here's a screw. I can literally put this in, pull the trigger, and drive it in. Okay, I hit the, uh, the limit there. I can drive it out. Let's try this one. Dri this one's already in. So what I'm going to do is drive it out. Now drive it in. Let's try this one. 
So I can just hold this, it's on, and then either back it out slow or put it in slow. And then once I hit the limit, then it's, there's the, there's the end. But if you go down to that one, I mean, this is, look at that. There's it spinning, I can just grab it, which gives you a really precise feel. So let's take this Roomba here. I'm always taking these guys apart, but I can literally go in right here. Let me switch this to the, the vertical so you can see. I can hold this. Actually, I've already tightened that one in. There we go. See that? Or in. I can use this as a screwdriver, just like this, twisting it by hand. Um, I usually find I grab this hole right here as kind of an indexing point. So, so if I wanted to pull this apart, another screw down here, drop that in. So then I can pull this plate off, but if I want to put it back on, because this is plastic, I don't want to break anything. I can literally hold this and then finish it off. It'll actually lock and allow me a fixed position. Takes a few clicks sometimes to get whatever the alignment is with the gears in here, um, but it's pretty cool. Or I can use it in kind of combination by, let me tighten this one first. So it's in, and then I can loosen it. But if I tighten it, as you can see, I'm twisting this. It's not going to work. You can see it's not unscrewing it. Let me get that to focus, hopefully. Not unscrewing, but um, if I twist it just a little bit and then hit it, then it kicks in. So it's really kind of a combination of movement but once you kind of get used to it i mean look at that so it's here let me get the milwaukee logo up so i'm just twisting it or it's fixed and I just use it as a fat handled screwdriver. Anyway, the more I use it, the more I love it. DeWalt really nailed this. So how do you apply that to another tool? Well, there's something about the motion that, that after a while is actually really natural. Um, and that motion causes you to start to use the tool a little bit differently. So first, I think we can learn something um, about our tool use. But second, where else would that gyroscopic twisting work well? I think one area might be in some sort of a very small form factor screwdriver, if that was possible, because this is, this is more of an upper arm screwdriver. If you move to something more refined, then you move to your fingers in the way you operate it. And that would be kind of neat if you had one that did that, just at a really smaller scale. Uh, the accessories, well, besides the charger and batteries, it comes with this. This is like a little cradle in order to hold a... Uh, a bit um, right here. I don't know if it goes that way. Let me see, or that way. It covers up. There we go. Maybe that's how it goes. What I've noticed though, um, you can slide bits into it. This is kind of a, obviously a big example, but if you have it in this position, even if you have just a smaller bit, say like here's a socket, this can interfere with either your ability to see the controls, this gets in the way if you reverse that, which you might do in this position, because that makes sense. Instead, what you've got is some trigger impediment here. And then this, if you're wondering, this is a lockout to keep it from going off in your tool bag. I thought maybe it'd be a lock on, but I guess that wouldn't make sense. So you lock it out so it doesn't discharge in your tool bag. Uh, overall, it's a little over a hundred bucks. Depends on the kit. Between 100 and 130, there are different deals. I got this actually uh, from through Amazon uh, uh, during uh, kind of some special deal. 
but I'm going to build out a kit for it. Came with a DeWalt bag. I'll probably put it in something else. But you know, this actually leads me to a new area in um, kind of the purpose for videos, and that has to do with things that make your life easier as you get older. Um, and I found that I use longer socket uh, handles, uh, fewer wrenches, and more more drills and impacts. And now I'm leaning towards this. Doesn't mean I'm geriatric, but it means that I do appreciate it. If I've got a handful of screws, I'm gonna grab this thing. And with that, dock out.